I'm Center Sports Noah Kozlov going inside this Rams Titans deal for the number one overall pick with Howard Balzer, longtime NFL writer, radio host in St. Louis on 590 The Fan and nationally on Sirius XM NFL Radio. Howard, from what you know about Jared Goff and Carson Wentz, was this deal worth it? I, I don't believe so. I, I, I question for any quarterback, would a deal like that uh, be, be worth it? But for a deal like that, you want to get Peyton Manning or Andrew Luck, or John Elway, uh, someone like that. You know, these guys certainly can develop into good quarterbacks, but maybe very good quarterbacks. But to give up what they did to move up as far as they did, and now not being able to pick after that first pick until the fourth round, 110th overall, they've basically destroyed their, their total draft and helping their team in other areas. So I don't think these were the quarterbacks to do it for. History is littered uh, with quarterbacks that teams thought were worthy of picks this high that did not work out. But I think this team was moving to Los Angeles, was mm-hmm. desperate. They need to make a splash. They they need to attract, if not interest, at least people thinking that they're at least trying to become a, a, a very good team. And so I think that they felt they almost had to do this if they could make the deal. And so because of that, they had to give up a ransom to do it. And based on the recent past of the Rams quarterbacks and the issues that they've had under center, has anything changed in their own quarterback evaluation? It doesn't look that way. And, of course, we have to go back to four years ago when Jeff Fisher took this job. He said one of the big reasons he did it is because the Rams had Sam Bradford. Mm-hmm. Now, that didn't work out mostly because of injury. But, you know, Bradford's gone. They traded him last year for Nick Foles, of course, who didn't work out. They overpaid him on a two-year contract before he'd ever played a game, and he's still under contract for big money uh, this year. Then they used a third-round pick last year for Sean Mannion. You're basically saying that that's a wasted uh, draft pick. So, you know, overall, you really wonder. And what you also wonder about is who this new quarterback is going to be. And my sense is going to be Goff, but that's just a sense Mm -hmm. on my part. Who's he going to throw to? Right. When are they going to play him? Uh, this team doesn't, still doesn't have a whole lot of weapons except for Todd Gurley on offense. And so there's a lot of things that this team still needs, and they're certainly not going likely going to be able to do it in this year's draft or even next year when they give up their number one and number three. I'm shaking my head and laughing thinking about where the Rams are headed aside from, from St. Louis to L.A. And finally, quickly, Howard, for the Titans, how – quickly does this accelerate their process? I, I think this helps the Titans tremendously because I think in this draft, I don't know that there's that much difference in players in 1-15, to 15, especially for what the Titans would be looking for, whether it's a pass rusher, whether it's a tackle, whatever it might be. And then they pick up those two second-round picks uh, that the Rams have. And so, so the Titans are really well-positioned to get a lot of players uh, that can help their growth wherever, wherever that might be. A voice I always trust, Howard Balzer. Good talking to you. Thanks, Howard.